as you're scrolling through social media and you come across that guy, you come across that girl and man, they're just pouring their heart out and they're just putting content out. And you maybe knew him from high school, you know, from college or that, that girl, that guy from work. And, and they're just out there putting themselves, you know, being vulnerable, man, show them some love, show them some love. It's not easy. They are putting themselves in a vulnerable position. And I respect it tremendously. And so should you. They don't need your judgment. They just need your support. Because they're just out here trying to better themselves, trying to succeed and win in life just like you. They just chose to do it publicly. And that's commendable. You saw the daily bread. Here's the new recipe. You can't expect to see more transparency. 5,006 figure earners. It's success to me. Giving the best of me. My living legacy. Over these last two years, I've talked about this date, January 11th, 2017, as the first day that I made my first post documenting you know, my life on, on social media. But an interesting thing happened today. I was, was driving to the office this morning and a f- Facebook memory popped up on my personal Facebook profile. It was from November 27th, 2016. What I had forgotten is that I actually did my first post on November 27th. It wasn't until January 11th that I created my actual Facebook page where all of the content now lives. But as I was reading this post, man, I just uh, was like overcome with emotions and uh, just thinking back to that person, uh, me two years ago, and the fact that I had no idea what would transpire over these next two years, leading to sitting here today and I wanted to read that I said I've been very quiet over the past three years on Facebook when it comes to my business having experienced some failures and observing business content on social media I was extremely tired of the fake it till you make it narrative I was seeing everywhere so I put my head down went to work and I've been creating content privately hundreds of videos and audio over that period of time I went from unemployment to $450,000 in annual income I've been afraid of what a handful might say when I knew there were exponentially more that could gain value from my experiences on this journey what I have been looking for is permission when I sat down with Gary Vaynerchuk and Andy Frisella a few months ago and told them my story. They told me, you don't need anybody's permission. People need to hear your story. With all that being said, it's on in 2017. I am nothing special, but I promise I'll outwork anyone on the planet. And as I continue to learn by studying successful people, I'll share this with you in a way that is easy to consume and then put into use. I've got some huge things planned for 2017 that I can't wait to experience with you. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Proverbs 27, 17. November 27th, 2016. Man, I try to think back to, to that moment. I remember it clearly. I was driving down to Georgia. As I was often, I was traveling over 200 nights in a, in a hotel that year. And I was driving while typing this out. Wouldn't recommend that, but that's what I was doing. And, and I try to think back to like, what was I, what was I thinking? What, what was I thinking would come of all this? And I don't think I had a clue. I don't think I had a clue, but I just knew that it would be important. I knew that I that I had a responsibility. Two years later, as I sit here, I, I'm it's it's really hard for me to 
even put into words the transformation in my life. I'm a different person today as I sit here than I was that day. For the better. Over that two-year period, over 4,000 individual pieces of content posted just on Facebook alone. 4,000 individual pieces of content, over 700 live streams. And that first year in 2017, it was over 400 live Facebook lives Over 400 Facebook lives in 2017. Started the sales wolves podcast. We're on episode 95. The breadwinner podcast. We're on episode, I don't know, 35, something like that. Started the, the daily vlog, the daily bread. Did a, close to 170 episodes five days a week on a 24 hour turnaround at that point having a videographer travel with me 24 7 and now the the weekly vlog my living legacy creating motivation kings a motivational brand that just surpassed a million followers on facebook over this last year there's been a week with a reach through all channels was over 49 million 49 million people reached in one week. It's crazy. It's crazy. What I what I value most is the messages that I've received over these last two years. They would always come at interesting times and Every time I would read them, it it would just, it it was a surreal experience, very humbling experience, very, um, just a very unique experience. And and hearing someone talk about how uh, following the content and certain pieces of information and things that they've implemented and how their life has been changed and, and my life was changed in the process. Today, I, uh, during lunch, I I ran, ran to the mall (laughs) to a department store. And I was coming down the escalator, hit the floor, and this guy said, Tyler, ran over. He's like, man, this is, this is crazy. He's like, yeah, I've been following you for like two years. Man, I love I love what you're doing, man. It's, it's really awesome. But man, that's thank you, man. I appreciate that. He said, I got to ask you. He said, when you talk about this story of going from being unemployed and, and dead and broke and depressed and out of shape, you know, to where you are now he said what you know what what was the key like what was the secret like what like what happened he said because over this last year i feel like i'm on this growth trajectory and, and I'm, things are turning around for me he's like but i feel like there's like one missing piece like there's one last final piece that i that i haven't figured out and so we talked you know for 10 minutes awesome conversation and and as i walked away i was just like this is this is crazy but man i'm so grateful Man, I'm so grateful for that post and that I stuck with it. You know, there's comments that come through daily. Yesterday, there was like four. And and they're my absolute favorite because it's... So yesterday, there's four comments. And, and each of them was some iteration of a, of a message saying, wow, this... This hit me at just the right time. Or, man, this message could not have come at a better time. And my response was the exact same to all four. I said, man, I love when that happens. And that's really the the message that I wanted to put out today is to the person that is me two years ago to the person that feels like they may want to start documenting their life on social media, that they've got a story to tell, but that's struggling with that. Who am I complex? Like, who am I, who am I to get on a Facebook live right now? And, and think that someone's going to, to join and, and, and like comment and maybe even share something that, that people would engage with the content that like, who am I to talk about entrepreneurship? Who am I to talk about business, success, self-development, growth? Like who, who, who am I? 
And, and that may be you. And what I would tell you is, man, you, you are, you are a person that was created in God's image and created on purpose with a purpose for a purpose. And you cannot take that lightly. And you've got a story to tell. I go so far to look at it as a responsibility. What I know, what I know is that there is somebody, there's somebody out there right now that is waiting to hear your story. That's waiting to hear a message that only you can deliver to them. And it doesn't matter what that story is. That, that story could be full of victories and triumphs and, and these great uh, battles won and, and rise to success. But that story could be rock bottom and just starting your upward trajectory, just starting to change inside and out. It doesn't matter. It's your story. And it'll resonate with someone. And the exact same message delivered eloquently, professionally from you know Tony Robbins or, a, or a Eric Thomas or a Gary Vaynerchuk or any of the incredible influencers, speakers, that that exact same message delivered through your framework, delivered through your context, delivered through your lens, based on your circumstances, based on the decisions you've made in your life, based on your delivery, is the only way it's going to reach them. I truly believe that. I believe that there's someone right now in Idaho, and they're scrolling through Instagram, and they're going to come across an ad that adds just a a post that you just thought was special, (laughs) special enough to put a little money behind and in hopes that it may reach someone. And and they're going to scroll right past it the first time, second time, not even pay it any attention. The third time though, you know, they're the speed that they're scrolling. It just kind of pauses right at that right time. They catch a couple of words and they're like, Oh, what was that? Scroll back down a little bit. Huh? Man, that's, that's interesting. I'll click on this, this guy, guy, click on this girl. They start digging into the content and the next thing you know, their life is forever changed, forever changed. I can't tell you that it's going to be easy, um, but I can tell you it's going to be worth it. And over these last two years, man, there, there've been struggles. Uh, it has not been easy by any means. Um, there have been failed goals. There have been obstacles. There have been There's been pain. Uh, There's been long nights, early mornings, weeks away from my family. Uh, But I have tried my best to capture all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly. And give a truly authentic, transparent, real look at what it looks like. Real look at what it takes to be successful. Not what the... Instagram fake entrepreneurs, influencers want to tell you that, Hey, get on my course and get rich in six months, change your life in a year. But the real story. And man, I can remember in those first few months, nobody got it. My friends didn't get it. My family didn't get it business partners didn't get it. My coworkers didn't get it. My, my spouse didn't get it. Like I've told the story many times like, within 90 seconds of that first post, my wife called me and she said, what in the world was that? She was mortified and she was crying and I knew she would be upset. And it's very private, very humble. And when I talked about going from being on unemployment to 450,000 in income, oh my gosh, my, our friends are going to see this and what are you doing? And you're crazy. I would love to tell you that I just knew, like I I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew I'd be sitting here right now. I knew I'd be talking to you. Uh, I didn't, but I knew I had a story to tell and, and I knew I had a responsibility to tell it. And I'm 
forever grateful for hanging in there on those days where I didn't feel like, I mean, over 4,000 pieces of content, like the, the days when, when I was tired, sick, everything going wrong, every reason not to still posting three, four, five, six times a day, still jumping on Instagram live, still jumping on Facebook live, still doing that podcast interview. Even when I didn't feel like it, replying to that comment. Because the way I look at it is that person, that that person that's out there waiting to hear your message, that comment, that comment could have been the first time they'd ever been vulnerable enough, vulnerable enough to, to reach out to someone on social media for help, with a question, just a, a statement, vulnerable enough and, and in a fragile time in their life where it was their last hope. And you chose to either reply or not. And by replying, it set the course of new patterns in their life that that led to something transforming, something life-changing. Or you chose not to reply. You chose that you were too busy, that you didn't have time to type out a couple words, hit reply, and that was the the last the last rejection that finally tipped them over the edge and they went downward spiral. It's a responsibility. Who am I? Who am I not to? That's what I would ask. Who am I not to? As you're scrolling through social media and you come across that guy, you come across that girl and man, they're just pouring their heart out and they're just putting content out and you maybe knew him from high school, you know him from college, or that that girl, that guy from work, and and they're just out there putting themselves, you know, being vulnerable. Man, show them some love. Show them some love. It's not easy. They are putting themselves in a vulnerable position, and I respect it tremendously, and so should you. They don't need your judgment. They just need your support because they're just out here trying to better themselves, trying to succeed and win in life. Just like you, they just chose to do it publicly and that's commendable. Secondly, if it's you that I was talking to when I said that person that's thinking about, you know, starting to put themselves out there, that's thinking about, you know, beginning to, to build a personal brand, start telling their story do it just do it commit to doing it for six months three is not enough but you'll know in six months you'll know in six months whether or not it's something that um, will serve you I am here to help in any way that I can since day one I said I would not, was not selling anything on social media, not monetizing a thing. I am so proud to be able to sit here and say in all honesty that there has not been a single piece of content where there was a link to click, put in a debit credit card and buy anything. That all this time, all I wanted to do is provide value. And not only did I not want anything in return, I didn't need anything in return. Because my return, my ROI was impact. My ROI was seeing someone's life change. That's all I wanted to do. And so I'm here to help in any way that I can. If you have questions how to get started. If you have questions, I'll respond and I'll support you in any way that I can because I know how difficult it is to put yourself out there. 
but I know that there is somebody out there waiting for you to. And with that, we'll see you next time.